to. Okay, we're going to get going here. <coughs> I would like to um, introduce uh, our speakers. I am, my name is Vanessa Weber. Uh, I am a, a social worker and an ex-member of Earhart Seminar Training, or EST. Um, and we are going to have a presentation on exploring the Royal Commission Society Church of God, a, pro, a growing Korean Doomsday cult waiting for 2010. And you're going to be doing that as well, that topic, did you say? No. Okay, sorry. Um, all right. And uh, our speaker today is uh, G. Il Tark, PhD. He is an associate professor at Busan Presbyterian University in Korea and the editor of Modern Religion Monthly, an information network of Christian heresies, a leading Korean cultic studies center researching Christian cults and helping their victims. He published the book, Family-Centered Belief and Practice in Church of Christ of Latter-day Saints and the Unification Church. The co-presenter uh, is not Not here. Um, is uh, is uh, Mr. Tark's younger brother. Um, their father, a highly recognized researcher of new religious movements and calls in Korea, was killed by a cult member. Um, so, we will start with you first, and then we'll use Mr. Enroth, and then we'll have questions and answers at the end. How much time do I have? Uh, it's 30, it's, as at what time? We have at the one and a half hours. One and a half hours. To make the point. Yeah. Okay. Well, is that right? Yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, the general manager of this hotel is a Korean. Mm -hmm. I, so I asked something to him. He looked very unkind. So later he told me he thought this meeting, is, this gathering is the gathering of the Unification Church members. <laughs> <laughs> no. So really? I revealed my identity and he they can very kind. <laughs> my name is Jigil Tark from Korea, all the way from Korea. I stopped by twice, Narita, Japan, and then Detroit, USA, and I'm here. The title of my presentation is Exploring World Mission Society, Church of God. It looks new. A growing Korean doomsday curve waiting for 2010. I got many questions from the United States and someone, someone's daughter left home due to the, this group uh, she, because she believed that the doomsday 2012 and I'm very glad I also have my friends here who has their beloved son and the Church of God. Is it okay? Introduce it. Would you please welcome them? <laughs> End of my presentation, they will help me to understand. They research um, lots of things here. Doomsday Current, a study of conversion, proselytization, and the maintenance of the faith, 1966. This book examined the Unification Church, the most recognized Korean cult. This study is employed again for this research uh, to depict another observable Korean cult, the Church of God. Interestingly, some similarities and differences are noted. Many you mentioned about it. There are many similarities and differences. You will see. Let me tell you about the Unification Church a bit to help you to understand that the Church of God well, updated them. He is inaugurated as a king of peace, and they changed the name, Family Federation for World Peace and Unification, to the Unification, because they thought their second generation don't have the pride, much pride here in the United States. So uh, the son of the Moon Sun Myung, they changed the official name to Unification Church from now on. Moon, and the Confucius Buddha, Jesus are my servant, 1976. And I'm the second coming Christ to Messiah, 92. The leader of the Church of God, the same. 
He said he's the Holy Spirit, second coming Christ. 2002, Moon and his wife, my wife and I are the true parents of the Christ and the Messiah. Same, the Church of God. Identified a man, a Korean man and Korean woman, God. Mother God and the God. There are many gods and Jesus is in Korea. I'm sorry. <laughs> his son, Moon Hyung Jin, is changing the Unification Church. Some of think the Unification Church is religion. No, it's not only a religion, but also it's a business uh, organization. So even though Moon died, the Unification Church will go on. That's my guess. He changed a lot. He now upgraded the church. He visited Buddhist temple and prayed. His another son, Moon Guk Jin, is operating good business here. They are changing. Even they, he used his wife, former Miss Korea, as an advertiser. It, it happened before, but it's a changing, right? It's a new leaders. The Forbes Asian edition wrote about the sun's rise in a moon shadow. You need to read this. It tells the presented change in the Unification Church. There are very similarities and differences. A man, God, a woman, also God. But I, what I want to tell you that even though they try to change themselves, they are still corrupt. They are still. They identify themselves as true parent, true family, which is not their line. See? This is the first song, a moon, and she is his wife. And she talked about the Unification Church as CDS like this. If you're a 15-year-old Korean girl and your spiritual leader, your Messiah, selects you to marry his son, that is about as close as you can get to heaven on earth. But sadly, Nan Suk Hong's marriage into the Reverend Sun Young Moon's family turned out to be more like hell on earth. As you will hear from her and from one of Sun Young Moon's daughters, Moon himself and some of his children have not always practiced what Moon preaches. His unification church expresses no sex outside of marriage, no alcohol, no illegal drugs. But Nansuk says that is not what she saw after she married the Reverend's eldest son, Hyojin, the young man they call the Prince. He was a prince, no prince. He was very abusive, uh, both physically and emotionally. He is alcoholic. He's addicted to drugs. After all, is it give and take? And she told us he was high on cocaine or some other drug when he made this rambling, angry, off-color speech to a church group. I'm standing in being judged by you, Tom. What the f***? Hey, judgment plan. Huh? That sort of didn't even know Hyojin when she was chosen to marry him, and she certainly did. I'm going to stop due to, to the limited time. It happens. Right? They're lying. They're not true family, not true parents. They don't practice what they believe. At least, even holding them true family within the true family. Unification Church now talking about the 2013, January 13. According to the professor of the Unification Church University, he said it might be the day of Moon Seo Myung's death. Or it might be the last day. We don't know yet. But the church, Unification Church, changed everything. Similarities still going on. I'm talking about the World Mission Society Church of God, An San Hong. The man is An San Hong from Busan, where I teach. He is God from Busan. <laughs> He identified himself Christ and Sang Hong is the second coming Christ who has 
restored the new covenant. They believe it. See. It's not mine. There. This is another 
This is the model called Jamgirja, also from Busan. I don't know the Busan where I live. There are so many gods. It's a spiritual battlefield. <laughs> Jamgirja. The church believer at New Jerusalem Heavenly Mother, who is testified in the Bible. According to the Galatian 4.26 says that the Jerusalem that is above is free and she is our mother. Excuse me, it's for... This is just for a I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I thought I might have told you. Okay, David has it. Mm -hmm. okay. They look this woman as their God. John Gilton. There were many churches, at least 400 churches in Korea. As you see, as the scale of the church is so big, not only in Korea, but also all over the world. New York, San Diego, Chicago, Connecticut, Colorado, Toronto, Hawaii, Houston, and many other places. According to the article of the Church of God, it says, I translate it, but I hope you understand everything. We believe that we can be saved by the faith of the name of the Ansan Hong, the Holy Spirit, and the Mother of God, the Bride of the Holy Spirit. That their article. Not sacred. Here's their prayer of the Church of God. Our Father, Ansan Hong, who is in heaven, the day because he died in 1985. The day of your coming is near, but we are not ready to welcome you. Father, please have mercy upon us. Let us be renewed by the power of your Holy Spirit, and let us welcome you when you come to us. We pray in the name of Father and Son. That's, it's like Lord's Prayer, the church. They use this one openly. So many people are here. My friends, you think they are different from you? No, at all. Same. This is the point of St. Kurt. This is the point. Your sons are not different. There's no problem. You know, it happens to everyone. So I try, I'd like to approach this matter not as a common sense, not as a point of the view of the common sense, but it's about faith. It's about the, some spiritual things. I cannot understand with this but I can understand with my heart. They operate in a kindergarten, all of the places, home page, visuals always, sit, pray without sitting, give it, dance and everything. It looks like a church thing. But there is a song, children learn here, the grace of God. Do not believe the cross, they don't believe. The Sunday is meaningless. We have the mother, unlike the other churches. We have our Savior, Ansan Hong, too. We can go to the heaven by believing Ansan Hong. They're controlling. How does it sound in Korean? Sing? Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't remember. Okay. Next time. Mm -hmm. Little kids are brainwashed from very young. There is a problem. They're looking good. They do all the good things for the society. You know what that means? PR. Right. It's <laughs> brand new. The all, all the curse that they might be destroy the families nowadays, they do good jobs for the society. They are covering. So my duty, my job is I'm masking. They are masking. They are being masked. Our job is unmasked. I visit the Mongol. There is a, they are working there too. Good job. <coughs> the first page of the newspaper. And a president from Africa continent, he visited the Church of God to say thank you because the Church of God members are doing some good job in Africa. Doing mission, doing Christian mission without the without the uh, without the I'm sorry. Let's go. 
So all of the world, Malaysia, Philippines, Pakistan, States, Brazil, Australia, even South Africa, yeah. all of the world, that do that. I got an email from a sociologist from the States. He said, I do not see any major red flags with respect to the group. Violence, financial exploitation, <laughs> sexual abuse, etc. Although family separation is a real concern to those families that are affected. I don't get it. Family is the, the most important thing. I lost my father, you know? When I see that this problem, not as a scholar's eyes, but the eyes of victim or their family, Family is the most important. I'm a scholar. I'm a, I'm a doctor dear. What? Doesn't matter. I, I lost my father. That's my starting point. That's why you're here, right? According to their doctrine, their book, which is in Korean, it says 2012. 2012. 1844 from the Seventh Adventist. Because they coming from that church, they crossed 168, that's the 2012. They teach, they teach here in the United States, not in Korea. But they began to teach that year. Also, they believe only 144,000 people can be saved. But they are more than 200,000. They are lying. They are interesting, which means they are lying. There are some groups in Korea against this church. You know, youth, youth on the street, they are just taken by the church members and into the church and they are baptized. They are forced to be baptized. They are spiritually damaged. Secondly, there are lots of families suffering. This is why I, this is a family matter. This is about the, our beloved ones. It's not, a, not only about the religion, I don't get it. It's, it's not important. It's, our, it's about our beloved ones. It's a different group. It's not about the church of God. There's a young, fine woman. He was taken by the uh, a cult, and he sent this memo to her father, in which she said, we have a different religious view, I'm not going to the church anymore. Good Christian became a church member. And her father go to the front of the dead church and say, please give my daughter back. And the television reporter asked him, when, until when, you're going to do this kind of the protest? Huh? Then he said, I will be doing this until. Sorry. My daughter comes <laughs> back or until I die. Yes. True. You're going to do it too, right? I have a kid, two sons and a girl. If my, it happens to my kid, I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the same thing. My friends, in the state, this man's eyes is gift for you. Gift for you. Please see the problem, Kurt's problem. Not your just or, or general eyes, but please see the problem with the eyes of victim. Then you will see the nature and you will see the danger of that movement. This is Amtrak. They're looking good. They're doing some good things all over the world. But what we'll do? I'm doing. I'm asking them. You need to do? Is that you need to do? I'm just be talkative. <coughs> Let's be talkative about this church. That's the way. This is our institute, and unfortunately, we have just a Korean language, and 
There is a small section, global network is against the terraces. So if you have any question about the, the Korean religious movements, you can send an email. So we will give you right away all the information. This is a home page. The, on the first page, you can see the, this one. Uh, also, my father, uh, he researched on the culture for 25 years. There's a lot of materials. And I researched on um, for four to five years, and I published a book as a Korean. But it, it deals with all the movement. It's a, almost a 700 pages. We have all those visuals, audios, and documents and books. So I don't know what to provide to you, but please send the email. I think this is a wonderful network. <laughs> so please send me an email. And I will do what I can do. I'll do my best. This is my father, Kito Sensei from Japan. He knew my father. He's a good man. He was killed by a cult member 15 years ago. Good man. Thank you. I lost my loved ones, but God is good. He kept, kept, he, he, gave, he helped us to understand those who lost their loved ones. Good God. And then God gave us a hope that I can meet my father again. That's my faith. That's why I became Christian. Good God. And lastly, God gave me eyes through which I can see the problem, not as a PhD, not as a minister, but as a victim, which I want to give you to. Right and duty. This I like this. All the families have a right to ask help to you and and we have holy duty to help one another to overcome this kind of problem. So please don't forget there is someone to, who is ready to help you. I don't know, please excuse my the limited expression. Uh, how many time do I have? Yes. Let me know. It's like 40, and I started my presentation 15, so it's a 25 almost. Oh, it's only 25. Right, right. Because I want so, to leave, I want to leave Mr. Right, so with your permission, please let sure. me have five minutes. It's okay? Absolutely. Yeah. So, okay. I'd like to invite you. So we, can, we can turn it up too. Well, as a therapist, I don't recommend parents, you know, be public if they're trying to get their kids out. Okay. But that's a, I'm not your therapist, but I'm Wait, just... I asked her, and I, what about decision. me? That's good. I think of doing my job. So thank you so much. Their information is very limited. To get the information, we need to put the residential number. It's like the social security number of Americans. So it's a very closed organization. So whatever you want to know, please let me know and then I'll send you an email and about their the, what they're doing. Thank you.